in much of Europe today, this is the setting brought to pass by the heedless greed of Nazi overlords who pillaged the country and brought down upon its people the terrible burden of war. Cities like this in Czechoslovakia are what the displaced persons of Europe are coming home to. Every day they return, bringing with them what small hopes have survived the hell of Buchenwald and Dachau. The degradation stripes of prison uniforms are often the only clothing they possess. Hope of liberation kept them alive for six years, but their great need is for food and clothing. And food, for instance, is 25% below the pre-war level. Distribution, another problem, is expedited by the United Nations Relief and Rehabilitation Administration using United States Army trains and trucks. Because Europe will depend until her next harvest on outside help, President Truman has directed drastic conservation of American wheat, fats, oils, and dairy products, the return of some wartime rationing to America if necessary, and an increase in export to needy peoples. American military transport, enlisted by UNRWA to aid in its reconstruction program, gives first priority to the delivery of medicine, for where there is need of food and shelter, there lurks disease. Clothing from overseas helps out against the cold of a hard winter, which has yielded little fuel. Unraw distribution stations face the fact that if they fail, the heavy hand of misery will fall upon millions of innocent people who survived the war and now face the hard reconstruction period of the peace.